Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be talking about transmission line measurements, which is a process that is used to determine the conductance of a semiconductor, accounting for the contact resistance. So ideally, if you have a geometry like this, where your semiconductor, uh, you are trying to measure the electrical properties of a semiconductor, as shown in this uh, blue region here, using a electrode uh, setup as shown here, and the channel length you are using is L, width is W, and thickness is T. So in the ideal case, you would use R is equal to rho L by A. Uh, however, uh, that equation cannot be used uh, in practice because uh, there is some region uh, of the electrodes uh, below which uh, that will offer contact resistance uh, because of the connection between uh, the electrode and the semiconductor. So in the real case, your total resistance will be sum of uh, uh, the contact resistance, the, the resistance offered by the metal or the electrode and your semiconductor. So your final equation will be 2RM plus 2RC plus uh, R semi. However, um, you can consider your contact res resistance to be much larger than the resistance offered by the metal. Uh, so in this case, you can ignore the uh, the resistance offered by the metal because it's going to be very small so your total resistance will be some of the uh, twice the contact resistance and the resistance offered by the semiconductor so um, you know that for your semiconductor you can use r is equal to rho l by w into t where w into t is the area or cross section you can slightly rearrange this equation to uh, rho by t into l by w Rho by T is nothing but sheet resistance or RS and uh, finally uh, if you put that into this equation uh, you will get that uh, the total resistance is twice of the contact resistance plus RS into L by W. Now this equation is of the form Y is equal to MX plus C. In practice uh, what we do is uh, we try to collect resistance data as a function of channel lens. So we use different channel lens uh, across the semiconductor and obtain the resistance values as shown in this figure here above. And uh, ideally you will be able to fit a straight line uh, through these data points. And when you do so, the point at which the fit line cuts the y-axis will be twice RC uh, because uh, 2 times RC is the intercept. And uh, the region uh, at which uh, the line cuts the x-axis, that will be twice the transmission length. So using uh, this uh, and the slope of this, uh, the fit line, you will be able to obtain the parameters RC, LT and also we can get rho C. So let's empty here showing an example where I have a zinc oxide thin film of uh, thickness 15 nanometers so I do transmission line measurements I collect resistance data uh, as a function of channel length for different channel lengths and I fit a straight line through that and from this I found that the slope is 33.62 kilo ohms uh, which is twice RC so RC will be 16.81 kilo ohms and we know from the previous slide that RS will be slope times the width in this case the width is 500 microns so from this you can get that the RS or sheet resistance is 12.66 uh, ohm per square and uh, using this value you can obtain the resistivity which is 253.2 into 10 power 6 ohm centimeter ohm meter and uh, also um, you can obtain the X intercept or the place where your total resistance is zero so if you substitute the equations, you'll be able to get transmission length from that. And from that, uh, the transmission length is 715.42 uh, uh, on each of the electrodes. So this is how uh, you can use uh, transmission line measurements in order to determine the uh, contact resistance, the sheet resistance, resistivity, and transmission length.